What is the movie? The movie is called The Finest Hours. It is a Disney movie. It's a few years old. I think it's either 2015 or 16, but it is a movie that describes what is called the greatest rescue in Coast Guard history. In 1952, a World War II era tanker broke in two during a storm off of Chatham, Massachusetts. And the boats that the Coast Guard had, the standard boat, and the standard boat that was in our boathouse that we're gonna be watching from, which this makes it so special, was a 36-foot motor lifeboat with a crew of four. And this is an important thing to remember, this boat had a maximum capacity, crew and survivors, whoever it is, 12. So eight people plus the crew of four would be maximum. These guys went out in a tremendous storm and eventually brought back 32. 32 survivors plus four, so it was a packed boat. It's a phenomenal story. It's a great movie. It's very, it's very emotional. My wife and I, who've kind of lived the life of 20 years in the Coast Guard, we get pretty emotional. I uh, showed it to some friends at our house um, recently, and she she went upstairs and was sewing the whole time because uh, it's it's really tough. It's I really appreciate tough. that. Yeah, yeah. So it's a great movie. It's Chris Pine who also plays Captain Kirk for uh, Star Trek. One of my favorite actors and, and just a great cast. And they do a, a marvelous job. Excellent. Is there going to be a charge? There is no charge. We will ask for donations. So, and, you know, it, it could be a dollar. And if you, uh, you're you a secret millionaire, I'll let you just decide. You know, maybe Elon will show up. There He's invited. <laughs> Steve, is the boathouse now going to be open for regular visits? It is open on the major holiday weekends now. It's about to be open for three days for Garibaldi days, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, noon to four. I'll be there all three days. It's a lot of fun. The volunteers and I have a great time talking to people. We have people from all over the state, the country, and really all over the world. I've had people from Italy recently, some people from Japan, and they're amazed at what's in there. You may not know or remember, there is a a maritime railway inside the boathouse. And that is because back in the day, from 1937 to about 1970-ish, the boats were lowered on railroad tracks all the way from inside the boathouse into the water. And those railroad tracks are still there. We just had a gentleman come in, visitor, retired railroad man, And he said, I can tell you when and where these rails were made. And we're like, you got to be kidding. And he got down on his hands and knees and we wiped some rust away. And they were made in April of 1935 in Pennsylvania. And it was just great to get little bits of information like that. And I bet you do have people stop by, whether they were a cozy or whether they just have the... It's beautiful to see. If you were going to tell someone that's not familiar with the area how to get to the boathouse, what would you say? I would say, first of all, go to Garibaldi, Oregon. And the old Coast Guard station, right off 101, it's a very imposing white three or four story structure, depending on how you look at it. Across the street from that is a road, and that road leads to a parking lot, and then you see the longest pier in the state of Oregon. Locals will call it the crabbing pier, and at the end of the pier, so you have a one-eighth mile walk to the boathouse. You're over the water. You're, You're basically in the middle of Tillamook Bay by the time you get there. It's glorious. It is. I think they have some uh, luck crab in there sometimes, too. They have great luck. A lot of the crabbers will realize that there's a museum, and they stop what they're doing, and they come in, and we give them a tour, and we meet them. Steve, I'm going to let you go, but is there a way to find out more information about the boathouse and, and even about the event? Yes. You can go to savegaribaldipeer.org and find out more. And remember, it's August 6th at 1 p.m. to 4 p.m. It is free to get in. We're hoping that you'll bring a donation. But if you can't bring a donation, bring yourself and your friends.